Hi chums, right we're back on the temperature experiment. I got a comment from Sprager Dog. Isn't that, isn't that a great name, Sprager Dog? Why did, why did I not think of something like that instead of bacon soda? That's what I get for being lazy. But anyway, Sprager Dog asked about a comparison of temperature between the inside and outside of the greenhouse and the little tent down below there. So I did it the other day with the potato reveal and then discovered that I hadn't given the thermometers enough time to adjust and the results were basically absolutely useless, you know, there was just there's nothing about them at all. But here we have the, the thermometers are sitting out for 24 hours, well actually it's 28 hours now, and uh, I left them in situ. So there's one that's been sitting in the greenhouse and the temperature outside at the moment is about 10 degrees which is around about 50 degrees Fahrenheit so the temperature in the greenhouse if I just get this up and have a look at it the temperature in here as you can see is 11.2 degrees is the temperature at the moment the lowest temperature last night was 4.7 and the highest temperature I've had so far in the last 24 hours is 11.5 so 11.5, 11.3 and 4.7. I just convert those to Fahrenheit for our American friends. So there we go. The lowest 40 at the moment is 52.7 and the highest was 52.7. It's actually changing slightly at the moment in my hand because of the heat of my hand. But uh, you've got the idea. So we'll set that one down. Now another wee job to show you here look at that isn't that lovely that's yesterday's work I cleared out all the plants and stuff from there and I had some soil set up and as you can see I've managed to get the soil up to this line here where I wanted it which is well above the water line so hopefully this will help solve some of my drainage or water logging problems in here by having the plants sitting up higher so that was yesterday's work I got that done and I was very pleased with myself. So we'll go down here and look at the thermometer down in the other one. So in this one here. So that's little, our little bubble tent. And the thermometer's in here somewhere. Yeah, there's it there, hiding in there. So I'll, I'll get it out and I'll see what temperatures are in it. So, oh look at that. The temperature 10.5. 10.5 is the highest in there and 4.4. .4. So basically the same, one degree less. Than the other one. I must go and check out the other one and see what that highest temperature was. I'll just put these side by side. I'll just change this back to Fahrenheit thing. Yeah, look at that. It's actually if I can get those beside each other. It was actually warmer in outside in the greenhouse than it was inside that wee tent. So that must be actually holding cold air inside it. This is a bit of a dilemma for me now. And it's 12 degrees in here now. Well, I think that 12 degrees has more to do with my hand temperature um, than the temperature in the greenhouse. But it looks like the, it looks like the little tent is actually one degree colder. Than, it's actually warmer at night. No, it's not. It was colder than the outside. There's 0.3 of a degree difference at night so there we are I have to do this again now I'll do that experiment again in a week's time or so when we get maybe a different type of weather and see what happens because there wasn't much sunshine yesterday oh actually there was yesterday was a very nice day because I was out working nah but it was cold because I was out working yesterday and uh, I took ice off one of the beds where it had formed along one of those canopies there off this bed here, where we at? There's ice along there, and I took it off. And at three o'clock in the afternoon, the ice was still sitting on the ground, so it was pretty, pretty much uh, cold. Even though the sun was warm, so I don't know. But I can't, exp I can't explain this situation of why it's colder inside that little tent than it is outside in the main greenhouse. Is it a case that there was cold air trapped in it and it just kept it in it, or is it a case that the heat can't get through <laughs> the sun can't get through the bubble wrap to warm it up i don't i don't know i really am confused by this one so i'll have another go next week and see what happens i'll just finish this off by showing you what i did yesterday um i'm getting i'm getting there i'm getting there slowly 
the, the potatoes that were along that wall are now the last few bags are sitting there and then those pots were there's 40 pots there um, and buckets and things they were there that's what provided the the compost for in along the side of the, the greenhouse there and then the strawberries got a bit of a haircut now all I did with those was I very quickly went around and just grabbed the old leaves the longest stalks and just pulled them off to give me something to aim at because I couldn't actually see what I was doing but now you can see where the plants are like there's there's the original plant so anything else coming off that there like these ones here on this one there's the original and all these other ones around can be taken out and potted up somewhere else I'm actually thinking of putting the strawberries over here underneath those trees and on the compost over there to try and keep the weeds down a bit and just let them do what they want rather than throw them out and I'm thinking of just letting them spread naturally over there I don't know what to do but uh, we'll see whatever happens happens I'm not going to be too worried about them I'm going to keep about a couple of dozen plants back for myself to put in a bed for a few for a couple of years time start another lot off because they're a super strawberry but um, I don't want to end up with 27 strawberry beds um, and my our, our strawberry army marching across Ireland like Helio Forge in Minnesota I think he's in and he's got strawberries taken over and then my last week job yesterday was that bed was there that was the bed the pumpkins were in so I've topped it up with some compost that I had left over from the pots and uh, that, that one's set for winter just to get some cardboard for that and then after that bed there, it's not actually, that's not actually a bed, it's just a frame that's sitting there so I can move that frame and get rid of all those, just spray that and get those nettles down. Nettles are, uh, nettles are easy enough to knock back. I have to take these onions out, they're dry, but I don't want them to leave them too long in case they start getting mouldy in the damp atmosphere. I'll get those into the shed. And that's basically it. So, once again, my temperature dilemma c continues. I thought I was only partly confused the other day when I was doing that experiment. But it looks like there's something going on with this little tent. But anyway, as long as it doesn't end up with the tent is like minus 15 and the greenhouse is plus 6, I'll be, I'll be happy enough. So let's we'll see what's happened later. So there'll be an update in this video in maybe a week's time when the weather settles down a bit. We've got us a cold day today. And as I said, it was 9 or 10 degrees out here at the moment, which is 50. That does not sound uncomfortable, but it's damp. And you can see the sky is just awful. And we're starting to get that maritime cold, wet damp that just sucks the life and the heat clean out of you. And it makes Ireland a very unpleasant place at this time of the year when it's, when it's like this. So um, I had some friends here from Canada who were used to enduring like minus 60 C and all the rest of it. And they said that the cold here, the damp cold here was worse than the dry cold that they had in the extreme temperatures. And I would believe it because it is miserable. Anyway, enough moaning. Um, oh, there's another couple of beds still to be done there. Get those. But as I say, I'll, I'll finish this off. I'll do another update on this later. So, Sprager Dog, sorry there's no conclusions there. But we'll try it again in the week's time and see what happens when the weather kind of settles into normality. Because it's up and down like a yo-yo here. So, all the best now. Bye-bye.